Oh my gosh. Am I already live? How long have I been live? Oh gosh, I hope you guys did not just see me take like 12 bazillion thumbnails. Hi, GB. Thank you. Okay, so um, I'll probably wait for a few more people to come here, but I have a package from Winton Knight. So I'm hoping he could join while I unbox this, but I don't think it's gonna happen because time zones, I think it's like midnight there. Hey guys. Okay, I hope you guys were not here while I took a bazillion thumbnails and kept telling her to be quiet because um, she's off school today and she's joining us. If you guys don't know, this is Fiona. Can you say hi? Hi. And um, so basically I won a giveaway from Winton Knight and my package came a few days ago. Um, I think either him or his dad said that there was gonna be some like extra treats thrown in for her. Um, so that's, that's what she's looking forward to. Um, oh, hello. Hi from Germany. Yeah, good morning. It is 9 a.m. here, but you know, toddlers are always up bright and early. Um, she is two and a half. She'll be three this summer. <laughs> 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Let's see if it's... I know like some time zones, but I mostly like UK, I think is like six hours ahead. Vietnam, that's quite a ways away. Asia is like 13 hours ahead. The A few places that I'm thinking of, I guess. Hey, I got a couple of those monsters. Yeah, they, yeah. Oh my God, I have to tell you guys something that happened to me this morning. So <laughs> I'm still in shock, but uh, last night I pulled like a piece of cork bark out of my Rosie Boas enclosure because it was like a really big piece and I was doing maintenance with my Grimma Stole Pulcropies and the female, she doesn't really fit in her hide because she's so big and I just felt bad and then I remembered that I bought this giant piece of cork bark the other day and I just put it in Willow's enclosure for now and I went to take it out and I gave it to the Grimma Stole Pulcropies and then I put a different piece in with Willow but... I guess I didn't lock it because this morning after I dropped my husband off, I walked in here and guess who I saw slither out from under my piece of furniture right here. It was Willow. So I've never had a snake escape before, but it is funny because the person I got her from, she had been missing for over a year in his basement. So he warned me that she is quite the escape artist. Now this is my fault because her tank is secure but I didn't lock it right. But oh my gosh, that could have been terrible. Like I am so glad we found her before, before I noticed she was even missing. She was only out for the night, but still, I mean, she could have gone far. But anyway, okay, it looks like we have a decent amount of people here. I don't know, is my chat working? Someone typed something, okay, I think it's working. All right, let's do this, because I don't know how long she's going to be good for. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. But, yeah, I I think um, the giveaway was, like, some merch and stuff. Um, but like I said, he, here his dad threw in some surprises, so. Oh, Andrew, okay, hi, you're from Australia. So maybe you'll know what some of this is, because I did cheat a little bit and read the customs label. And I saw that there was biscuits, and I was thinking, do you guys call biscuits cookies? Because when I hear biscuit, I think, like, bread or, like, something. Yeah, it's, I don't know. But I'm I'm thinking he means cookies. Maybe you'll recognize this stuff because it is from Australia. Shapes Vegemite. Vegemite and cheese. I've never tried Vegemite. What is this? <laughs> Oven baked. I've never even seen this. So do you recognize this? We can probably try a few things too. Oh my gosh. Okay, I hear all about this all the time. Hey, Scarlett, what is up? Do you rec do you guys recognize this? Because I'm an American, we don't, I mean, I guess some people probably eat this, but I've never tried it. Beware the Vegemite. I thought it has a reputation. I, I'm not sure, should I try this on camera? I can open it. Oh my gosh, I don't know. People say it tastes salty. Ooh, I don't know. 
Yes, so. I'll set this aside and we'll think about it. Spare your taste buds. See, you guys are scaring me. Okay, okay, I'll try it. But um, I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. Because everybody says, like, bad things. What do you put this on? Oh, my God. <laughs> what do you put this on? Do you put it on crackers? Get some water near you and milk. Well, I have a coffee, so. And I didn't really eat that much. I just did a taste. It's very salty. Toast. Someone said crackers. Oh. Oh, well, may, that would make sense then, right? That makes sense. <laughs> okay, let's see what else. Now I have Vegemite in my fingernail. If it's not bad enough, I always have substrate in my fingernails. Now I have Vegemite in my fingernails. <laughs> Lots of butter lightly spread. Oh, so you mix it. Okay, that makes more sense. That might make it better. Okay, this is something that she like. Come here, can you sit back right here? This is something that I've also never tried. Nine biscuits. Okay, so that answers my question. Biscuits are cookies, right? I don't know. I'll try this one. Because I know she'll like it. She likes anything chocolate. That's like all we've eaten since yesterday, but. Do you want to try? It's minty. It's good. <laughs> Thank you. Reaping games for watching. I appreciate it. <laughs> Lewis, you get your first tea soon. What do you get? <laughs> okay, this oh this was uh dented, but it looks okay. Ne Nestle, okay, this is a brand we do have. But I've never seen this before. So I guess this is something that you mix. And it looks like some kind of drink. So I'm guessing it's kind of like the chocolate milk thing. Are they not supposed to be frozen cat those biscuits? I don't know. Um, it doesn't say. I don't know. Oh. It. Oh, okay. It says actually the package will change colors in the fridge. Oh. Okay. I've never. I'm. I'm not. I don't know these foods. Okay. So I'm seeing some merch. I think so. I'm gonna go for that. Oh, this is very nice. So this is a hat that says Went and Night. And if you guys don't know his channel, um, I wasn't sure how to link it in the description below. But um, I will go back and do that. But if you type in his name on YouTube, Went and Night, his channel will come up. And oh my gosh, him and his dad are like the best team ever. Yes. <laughs> do you love it? Oh my gosh, your teeth. Yeah, him and his dad make like the best team ever. So you really should go check out their channel. Oh, oh, this is for mini tarantula cat from Winton. So, uh huh. Do you like it? What is that? A tiny. A spider. Do you know what kind? It's an orange. It's a jumping spider. <laughs> Can you tell from a molt if a T is an adult female? Yeah, you should be able to um, see. It will have, okay, I think I say it right, spermatic K. It'll have like, um, it, it'll be like a flap and then you'll be able to see. Have you ever tried aerial mint? No, I haven't. Um, oh, girl, you can't just take these. We gotta save some for later. Look, we got more. Come sit. We got more. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay. This is something that I know she'll like too. I haven't ever tried this, but Cadbury, we do have that here. Thank you, Scarlett, for the better ex explanation than uh, I gave. There you go. Oh, this has caramel in it. That has caramel. She'll like that. Okay, more. Oh, awesome. These are amazing. If you never checked out his channel, like, um, they have really good quality of videos, much better than mine. And uh, their photography and everything is amazing. The way that they capture their animals on camera is literally goals. Like, 
So is there a flap then it's ready to breed? Um, it's kind of dependent on the size of the female and the size of the spermatheca, I believe. But Scarlet, the Black Widow's Web, she is actually a lot better at pairing than I am. If you've seen my Instagram lately, you'd know that <laughs> my first attempt has not gone very well. But um, I'm, I believe it's based off the size of the spermatheca. And we have more. Oh, wow. I wonder if Winton took these or if his dad did. Two tarantula cat. So happy you won. Got some Aussie snacks and a tiny shirt for Fiona. Wow. Hope it fits good from Winton. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. He is, him and his dad, they are just so cool. Right? Mm hmm Okay, so, oh, this looks like the tiny shirt. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. This is so cute. You want to try it on? Yeah, she she likes it. Oh, we can actually wear this today once we get out of the pajamas because it's actually nice out today. Lately, it's been like freezing in the morning and then warm in the afternoon. Look at that. Do you love it? Yeah. Yeah, you want to wear the hat with it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you look so cool. High five. Yes, pound it. <laughs> and we got some stickers, a centipede. So cool. I actually have, like, I'm not on Peko's level yet, but I've actually been, like, hoarding um, stickers from Aww. different reptile and exotic places. Oh, you want more? Okay, sit down. So now I've got like quite a nice sticker collection. There you go. So this is chocolate for breakfast. I'm just kidding. She did have some berries this morning and a bagel. Okay, let me read the chat a little bit. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. This is like a lot of candy and stuff. And we got another. So this one has a spider and this one has a centipede. Oh my goodness, she's getting that chocolate. Oh, we got another. So I can try some before she eats them all. Lewis, cat inbox to you on Instagram. Okay, I will check. I've been really bad about re like going in there lately, but I will check. Usually I'm pretty good about it. And this yeah. one's for me, so we can match. <laughs> this is super cool. I'm going to wear this to an expo with her <laughs> and match. Why not? I've worn my merch and matched with her before. The sugar is kicking in. She's going wild. I know. That's exactly what's happening. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, snakes alive. So I'm guessing these are gummy snakes because that's what it feels like from the packaging. And as much as I do want to try them, I literally have barely had anything to eat today and I'm not going to, I can't, I can't act like eat a whole bunch of sugar in the morning with her. She's crazy about candy. If she <laughs> eats too much sugar, she's going to have full energy like Teco. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Picnic. So this is something I've never tried. It looks like peanuts, wafer caramel, and rice crisp covered. So that sounds really good. I do actually really like uh, rice crisps. Um, man, I can't even think of it. There's a candy that I used, I used to grab it all the time. I feel like they don't really sell it that much anymore. A hundred grand. I think that's what it was called. That used to be like my favorite. And we got like a whole bunch more. So there is lots of candy in here, which she is going to love. And she just got so much candy yesterday from the Easter Bunny. I don't want to be rude or anything, but why are you so skinny? Okay, like, I always knew that, like, obviously when you get on camera, like, people are going to ask you things like that, and I, I never really address it because it's like I've been asked this my whole life, but I just have a really fast metabolism, and um, I don't know. I Like, even when I was pregnant, I was really skinny. Like, I still gained, like, the regular weight, but I was still really skinny. I just always have been. And we got more of these. Oh my gosh, she's gonna eat so much candy. And I think there's oh, one more. And we got two more stickers. 
So, um, yeah, thank you so much, Winton. Like, that is insane. You guys, you and your dad are awesome, and I seriously appreciate it. I know she, yeah, <laughs> look at that. You're, like, such a pro. <laughs> no, I'm not a vegetarian. <laughs> All right, but, yeah, I don't, I didn't think she'd hang for this long. I'm surprised she's still doing pretty good. There's a house spider on my desk. Yay, catch it. Let it go. I, I caught a yellow sack spider yesterday in here. I really don't like those, but let me get it for you. But I did catch and release, so that's what I'm trying to do. <sighs> How's you both? We are both good. Oh, this one is different. It's the frog one. I think this one's white chocolate and then milk chocolate. Okay, I have the same problem and get asked the same thing constantly, even though I eat like a horse. Me too. It's funny because I think um, Paco is the same way. Like, there's just um, different, like, body types where some people can get away with eating a lot. But that doesn't automatically make you healthier. You should still eat good. I'm hoping Marcy will become more a part of my channel as she grows. Yes, Scarlett. Like, I think she's going to love animals just like her mom. Like, Fiona is still – she doesn't really – She's not afraid of spiders, but she, like, like when she finds one, she always tells me right away and she acts a little scared, but she doesn't hurt them. Um, a roly poly came in the other day though. And oh my gosh, she found it and had like a total meltdown. She did not like the roly poly, but it was her first time seeing one. So I could see um, her being afraid of it. And ants too. What do ants do? <laughs> I don't know why we say that. <clears throat> he didn't send you an Aussie spider. They are scary. I know. I know. That is one of the coolest things about his channel, though, is to learn about Australian species because as far as I know, we don't really have any access to Australian species. I mean, legally, I don't think Australia exports really anything. I'm, I've am i always wondered about bearded dragons, though. Aren't they from Australia or are they from somewhere else, too? Do I look really stupid right now on live? Probably. but. Correct me if I'm wrong. Aren't they from Australia? Um, I have a question. Go ahead and ask. Tessa, we had a tiny tarantula in our gymnastics gym once. That You live in California. Probably in a phone of Palma then. And they freaked out and wanted to squish it. I got him first, though. Awesome. I have one native species to California. I literally can't say the Latin name or the scientific name. Um, it's a California ebony. A phone of Palma. Starts with an E. Hey, Lucy, how are you? Um, can't you not get huntsman spiders from Australia, though? See, I'm not really that familiar with true spiders. I, I've i never bought a true spider. I've kept a few that I've found, but I've never bought <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Hi, cat. I had a spider inside my bathroom. Instead of catching it, it ran away because I'm so scared. Oh, no. Well... Hopefully, uh, if it surprises you again, you're able to catch it. Beardies are from Australia, but the ones in the pet trade here are all captive bred. Okay, that would make sense. That'd be crazy just to walk outside and see like a bearded dragon basking in your backyard or something. I always think that Winton's going to have uh, a very bright zoology future ahead of him because he literally lives in like the best place for it. Like I can't think of a better... Place. I mean, I, obviously, if you think of Australia, you think of Steve Irwin and and all his kids now. Like, I follow them on Instagram, and they're just just as involved in wildlife as he is. And so, like, that's the first thing you think of. But I mean, Australia really has some beautiful wildlife, and, and it, I understand that it really stinks about like the really strict laws on keeping pets and uh, non-native species. I totally understand it because it would really wreck, you know, their wildlife. Um, Kat, are you a Game of Thrones kind of girl? No, I do not watch Game of Thrones. I know Eric used to, but I saw like bits and pieces of episodes. The only show that I really am super into is uh, Stranger Things. I love Stranger Things. I'm broke. Thanks. Who Fiona looks like? You or your husband? Love you, Kat. Oh, I love you too. Okay, so she looks just like her dad. Okay, can you wait a little bit? Because we just had so much candy. 
I'll show you because a lot of you haven't seen my husband. He's been in a few videos, but he's not in them often. Let's see. Oh, I don't really have that many great ones of him. Oh, there's no, 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 no. Don't shut it. But yeah, they look like twins. If you can tell. Yeah, Fifi. Yeah, that is Fifi. Oh, yeah. Um, my dog is sitting on my neck. Oh gosh, it's actually sizing you up because it's gonna try to eat you. <laughs> Just kidding. That's what they say about snakes, though. I told my mom about the little escaped Rosie Boa, who she couldn't have been out for more than like an hour because um, this morning when I woke up, I looked and her cage was closed and everything. But I told my mom about the escaped Rosie Boa, and she was like, "This is why I don't want you to get a big snake. She could eat Fiona." I'm like, the snakes aren't gonna. I, I mean, maybe a newborn, a very big snake would do, but you want to wear this? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Jeff, found you from the dark den. Keep up the good work. I live in Arizona and have a tarantula who lives outside my door that I feed from time to time. Okay, Jeff, if you live in Arizona, you should come to Pet Fest. It's in Phoenix, and it's in Phoenix, and it's June 22nd. Um, Pecco and I are going to be there. So you should come. I'm going to make a video about it eventually, but I I was going to mention it and then I forgot in the other video. Um, thank you so much, though. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Lewis, no, she licked me to death. My dogs do that, too, um, where they just keep licking. I thread it's like a dominance thing. I want a hog nose, but mom, not convinced. Yeah, I relate to that on a spiritual level, Abigail. My mom does not really like any of my animals. She, I think she likes the hamster and like she likes my dogs, but yeah. I can't keep hog nose here without a permit though because they are a native species. Um, Lauren's tarantulas, oh my gosh, a friend of mine told me the same thing when I wanted. <laughs> She's still on candy. Yeah, um, it's very common, I think, for snake people to get questions like that like will they eat the dogs or something like that personally I'm not really into big snakes but if you've been on my Instagram lately you know that I've uh, really been wanting an eclipse boa I do want a boa constrictor but right now it's just not something that I can do because where we live like um, it's not the biggest place you know I need a lot more room for something like that do you have the tarantula that exotic slayer has it's a heart butt tarantula. Yes, it's a C. Elegans, I believe you're talking about. Actually, I just talked to him the other day. I feel like he said his is actually a C something else. I, I can't remember, but I think that's what you're talking about. And if so, I do. If you have a rectum or a berm, it's possible. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm happy with the snakes we have, but I really do want an eclipse boa or a black boa, like some kind of boa constrictor. I want a sun glow boa and a rosy boa. Rosy boas are the best. We have three ball pythons, two corns, and a vine snake, and a two-bedroom apartment, plus four cats, and a ton of tarantulas and scorps, so it's not happening anytime soon. Yeah, that's kind of where we're at. I mean, like, my landlord totally is fine with all of our animals and everything. It's it's not that. It's just I literally don't think we have anywhere else to put any more reptiles. Hi, Michael. Um, moon glow. <laughs> A moon glow boa. I think that's what the other one I liked was called. It's like very, it's like white and uh, luminescent looking. Our landlord knows we have two cats, LMAO. That's very common. I always see in like groups, people are freaking out and they're like, oh no, my landlord's coming over. What do I do with all my animals? Um, Andrew, keep up the great work. Thank you. And I, well, I saw somebody earlier say that they had to uh, leave. So I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. Um, Scarlett C. Leetsy, am I saying that right? Have heart butts too. That's what I think he said he has. Or he has both. It was either that or he has both. H and C. I have um, a green olive one. Hey, Kat, are you going to Colorado Reptile Expo June 8th? If not, you definitely should. I'm not. Um, I do have a friend in Colorado, though, that wants me to visit. So I might someday make an appearance there. Our landlord never comes by, so we're good. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. I'm probably going to have to get off here in like 10 minutes. 
Um, what's your favorite tarantula? It really depends on the day. Um, it's good to see Fiona on your video again. She's adorable, like a T-sling. Doesn't she have school? Yeah, she didn't have school today. So I'm in the process of doing my I'm in the process of doing my tarantula collection video, but she didn't have school today, so I couldn't film. Uh, it's very hard to film with her. What's your best eating tarantula? Ooh. Ooh. Probably my Nandu chromatis. Can you say can you say Nandu chromatis? Say it. Say Nandu. Chromatis. Good. Good enough. She pronounces it better than most people. Hey, Kat, based on your experience, what's the best beginner snake? Rosie Boas. I love Rosie Boas. They're my favorite. It's all the chocolate. Yeah, I know. I, she, I don't even know how many pieces she's eaten because he sent like a whole bunch of these and she keeps opening them. Don't like the Trinidad tiger. Is that the NNC? Because I do have one of those and I used to not like it very much. Like I could have done without it, but now I really do since it's grown. What are your thoughts on California king snake? Okay, I really want a Mexican black king snake. I California king snakes are cool too, but I really want a Mexican black if I'm going to get a king snake. It's so funny. My sister always thinks I'm trying to show off when I use tarantula scientific names and won't believe me. Uh, uh, uh. Come here. Let me open it. And won't believe me when I tell her that everyone does. Yeah. It. Well, most people do. But it's definitely better to uh, to use them. Exotic layer has a Trinidad red dwarf tiger is what the other name was. Okay. Yeah. I, I lose track of what he has. Oh, these little snake gummies actually look like snakes. Oh, wow. They actually, like, have little, like, marking. Like, it looks kind of like scales. It's cute. Okay. That's pretty good. You got to chew good. Mmm. These are really good. Hey, Kat. Thanks for the videos. I've been looking into getting my first tarantulas, and I have found your videos really good and helpful. Yay. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Mm -mm. I need more. I'll give you more. I don't want you to eat all of them. Gotta save some for Dada. <laughs> I guess your favorite color is black. Mm -hmm. It's probably purple if black doesn't count. <laughs> Mama. Banned import on Mexican black in the UK. So there are 400 pounds for a pair now. Wow. I think I see them for around $100 here. Why, um, why are they banned on import in the UK? That's really weird. I haven't heard about that. Black isn't a color, it's a shade. Wow, that's some shade, Lucy. <laughs> Hi, I'm a mind reader. Oh, no. <laughs> I still can't believe Pecco flung your tea. Yeah, it it's the be vegans. It is crazy. Like, I, I'm a little nervous about that one because anytime I open her enclosure, if she doesn't want me there, like, she will threat pose me. Like, she's not playing around. I still, oh, wait. Let me just scroll down a little bit. Where are you from again? Um, St. Louis. So where the Show Me Snake Show is. Um, Kicks wants a shout out. So shout out, Kicks. Um, hello, St. Louis from Springfield. Hey, and I recognize you. I see you here. I don't know who you are. I have a soft spot for all black animals. Two black cats, two grand stole pulchra, and holy cow, and PA, they're like $300. Jeez. Yeah, I love um, black animals too. Hello from Czech Republic. Thank you for videos. I have four spiders now, and videos like yours really helped me since I got first got one. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And that's awesome you're from the Czech Republic, actually. Um, I've said it before, but some of my family is from the Czech Republic. Like, far down the line, but yeah. I have two California king snakes, two Mexican red rump tarantulas, and a beta and Diablo Blanco leopard gecko. I'm not, don't growl at me. Do you hear this toddler growling at me? Here's another gummy snake. Where do I buy a spider from here in California? I'm sure you guys have to have expos. Tomorrow arrives my adult female pulchra and adult female aradum, is that a brachypoma? That's what I think. 
I'm so happy. Clock is ticking. I'm going to post the unboxing on my channel. Awesome. Let's see. Diego Miguel. Check out that channel. He's going to post tomorrow. Um, in the middle of the story tell it again. Oh, Oblivion. I've played that one time. I wasn't very good at it. My friend helped me like get all the cool armor and stuff and I still wasn't that great at it. I just got my first Grimace Soul Polkra from the Tarantula Takeover. Yay! Pecco was surprised they were selling Brazilian teas. Yeah, a lot of vendors are choosing to sell them. A lot are choosing not to sell them. It's kind of like a little bit of a debate in the community. And um, I just kind of, I mean, I'm not a vendor, so I don't, I don't know. Jamie's Tarantulas is where I deal from California. Okay, I did get an order from her before, and I really did uh, like her using her. I will say though, a lot of people don't like her shipping method, but you can choose to ship FedEx. It's a little bit more expensive. So if you do order from her, um, ship FedEx because you're not supposed to do USPS from what I've been told. Um, I was near you cat not so long ago. Were you? Okay. Let me think. I'm pretty sure I like, I, a lot of people came up to me at the Tarantula Takeover show. Like I was surprised. I did not think anybody would, like, I figured most people would come there for Pekka, which I understand totally, like, you know, he's way cooler than me, just kidding. But no, I definitely didn't expect as many people to come up to me or, like, take pictures and stuff. It was really weird because I've never experienced anything like that, but it was great, like, don't get me wrong. I just, I didn't expect it at all. Like, maybe a few people, but not, not how many did. Um... Did play a were spider in the vampire game, the Oblivion game, because I really didn't get that far. <laughs> hey, Sidex. I was touring all over the South. Awesome. Oh, so you were probably near St. Louis. Um, I'm scared about the BTS. I hate photos. Oh, Lucy, you'll be fine. I'm scared about Pet Fest. I have to go on a plane and I have to go by myself. Well, I mean, once I get there, I'll obviously know people, but I mean... That's scary. I don't ever travel. It's it's so weird, but um dude, you're the reason why I have teas. And if I had been able to come to the takeover, I would have loved to meet you and hang out. Well, thank you so much, but I am always there. So if you guys ever come to the Show Me Snake show, I'm usually there like around 10. I don't stay for long though. Usually I kind of just go pick up what I'm getting and then I do my footage and then I leave. Because it gets really crazy there. Like, it gets super busy. Um, spider you want to get? Probably the H. David Bowie. The Orange Huntsman would be really cool. And then that, the one that looks like a blueberry. The Waka something. Waka Flocka. Um, the Ewok something. <laughs> be Vegan, Be Brudezzi, G. Polka. Is this a good idea? Yeah. All of those are great. I have a Vegans and a Ver Actually, I have all of them. Um, the Vegans, though, can be pretty crazy. And I know that just mine isn't crazy, like, isn't just an exception. There's a lot of crazy ones. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Do you think you will ever come to a UK Expo? I definitely wouldn't be opposed to it, but that's quite, quite far away. Hey, Cool Critters with Cat. I hope you saw my Expo video. I did get your picture and I showed it. So thank you so much. It is really cute and I am keeping it. I have a box full of things that people have given me or sent me. I am going to give you more. Winton, all of all of your candy is getting eaten by my toddler right now. <laughs> yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Makes sense why it's the freebie then. Oh, the so did you buy the Verdezzi and the Polka and then get the Vegans as a freebie? Because that would make sense. Um, come to the UK, Lucy. I would love to come. Um, hey, Kat, your videos are amazing. Thank you. Your toddler is so cute. Thank you. She is cute. Oops, and she knows it. That's why she gets away with everything. <laughs> I, uh, never mind. <laughs> um, Cool Critters with Cat. I did see it. I'm so glad you like it. I wish I was at the expo to meet you. Yeah, I asked Ray why you didn't come. He said he didn't want you to miss school. But um, yeah, I maybe next time because we'll probably do it again next year. 
Um, I'm planning on breeding my, okay, I'm not going to say that name because I know I'll say it wrong. Would you be interested in a gift of a few slings if it goes well? Sure, if you're in the U.S. because can't can't get it from other countries. We're kind of very strict here. How's your OBT still scared of it? A little bit. It's grown so much though. Like it is probably a good, maybe almost three inches now. But uh, yeah, I'm a little nervous. I think it's going to have to be rehoused in like a, another molt or two. So I'll definitely do a video for that. And I'm going to do one for my two, I have two pokies that I might have to rehouse. Last night I noticed that there was a little bit of mold in both of their enclosures. So I'm going to see today if I can just go in and pluck it out. But if it, if it doesn't, if I can't just pull it out like that, then I'm probably going to have to rehouse them. So I might, if I do have to, I'll probably just do a video about it. But yeah, I'm probably going to have to jump off here in a minute because I think she's about over it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, go check out Winton Knight's channel if you aren't already subscribed because he is awesome and he makes some very cool videos and he is from Australia. So he has all the cool things that I can't get here that a lot of us can't get anywhere. <laughs> it is a human sling. So yeah, thank you guys for hanging out and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.